New York, let the out. Let it roll. Let the out. Let it roll. Have a great show. I get a lot of shit for the things I do. I feel like all the female artists I love were reamed in the beginning of their careers because they were just like really pushing to say something different. And I hope that's what my songs are doing. This moment right now for Marin is just so unbelievable to watch. We've pretty much sold out of every single US date, and it's her first major headline tour. We love Marin Morris! So why don't you just meet me in the middle? In the middle. Ladies and gentlemen, Marin Morris. Our next guest is nominated for the ACM Female Vocalist of the Year. We saw Marin wearing space buns, so we were like, we're wearing space buns tonight, honey. I'd like to say that everyone's an overnight sensation when no one's heard of them before, but you don't see all those years of playing in shitty honky tonks and being stiffed by the club owner and not getting paid, but playing the show anyways and being essentially background music. She started when she was 10 years old in Texas and every weekend she'd go to school during the week and then she'd tour in Texas all weekend long. Watching her grow up in Texas and do the music thing was difficult. There were times when she was like, I just don't know, I'm, I think I'm done. There are a lot of gatekeepers that just do not give the same time of day to a new female artist as they would do to a new male artist. The assumption is that we wouldn't sell advertising for radio and that we wouldn't sell tickets. Biggest challenge in country music is the radio. In order to have a hit, you have to have all 154 or whatever stations it is playing your song in heavy rotation at the same time. We actually decided on our own to release some music independently through Spotify before a label got involved. I had a lot of doors slammed in my face, but one song can change everything, and that's what happened with my church. Everything just happened so fast after that. I loved her voice. First time I heard it, loved her voice. Loved the songwriting, uh, the sound of the record. I could tell she had this really particular artistry. It wasn't like anybody else. And I just I just loved it and wanted to take her out on tour right away. And the Grammy goes to? Marin Morris. Cheryl Crow just gave me a freaking award. We had to do something really special. This is something really special. And then the chorus is kind of like what I'm doing. But like, if you do something kind of straight like that, with what I'm doing, it'll be like a cool sort of. That's kind of, I don't want to like be doing the same thing. Yeah. In spite of all of the, the female and music drought that there's been at country radio, I have somehow been the most played woman in country music the last two years. I don't know why me and not them. Radio stations, in order to get good ratings, should not play female artists too often. The lack of women on country radio was by the design. The reality for many women in country music is very different. At some point, we have to just stop talking about it, and I try to prove through action. Like, okay, if you're not gonna play these girls, then I'm gonna bring them out on the road with me. So uh, Cassidy Pope's been out, Ray Lynn is out on the tour with us right now. I've got Cassie Ashton coming out, Haley Witters, like a lot of up-and-comers that deserve to be on stage. We have a female tour manager, female bass player, female manager, I definitely feel like the way to really champion women in the industry is 
to pay them and to have them open up for you. She's taken her platform and said, like, all these other women who are great artists deserve to be played on the radio just as much as I do. And that's a big deal for somebody who has a lot to lose speaking out against the one thing that drives our format more than anything. Yeah, I sure can try to put love through it, but we built this right. So nothing's ever gonna move it when the bombs are good. The rest don't matter. Yeah, the pain could feel the glass could shatter. Let it rain. Cause you and I remain the same. When there ain't a crack in the foundation, baby, I know when it's storm we're facing. We're blue right over while we stay put. The house don't fall when the bones are good. Oh, okay, you showed up. <laughs> use your weight, use your guitar, your bass, and just keep playing. It makes me feel really good to have so many women in the crowd because there's this very weird, untrue misconception especially in country music, that women do not want to hear women on the radio. And when I look out at my crowd, the majority are ladies. And so I just feel like we debunk that theory every night because they're the ones buying the tickets, the merch, and the songs, and singing so loud back to us. Go. Got my white leather jacket and a neon soul Once I turn on the radio, I'm ready to roll We're ready to roll For me, the most exciting part of watching Marin's career take off has been the fact that it's justified. Uh, you know, she she's the real deal. She can really write, she can really sing. I am most proud of the very strong, compassionate woman that she's become. She's a great leader. She's just forging ahead with who she is and not letting anything interfere with that. She's becoming, for so many people that don't love country music, the only thing that they know about country music. And I think that's a really, really heavy thing to have the responsibility of. And I think she really does an amazing job with that responsibility. I mean, she'll wind up being in the tradition of the Johnny Cashes of the world, who stand up for what they believe, for the injustices that they see. I mean, that will transcend um, everything else. I think that's all we can do, is just like go out and play the fucking songs. Little by little, the dial is gonna shift for the better. We love, love you, Marin. Marin, <laughs> you're so cool. I love Marin. I love you. <laughs> Marin, I want to be best friends. <laughs> be fun.